Lewis, back for another season. Um, how are you feeling after the celebrations, after that amazing win uh, in the playoff final? Yeah, I think obviously it's been probably a month or so now. Um, but yeah, I think that day was something that we earned for that year, um, something that we enjoyed. I think I'd work the next day and I felt pretty rough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was worth it. Good day, good memories. Um, and hopefully like this year again we can build on it and never know what could happen. You said that, yeah, hopefully build on it. Consolidation, I guess, is the is the aim of the game and spring a few surprises along the way. Yeah, it's a tough league to go into. Um, some teams that are pretty established um, in that division. So I think we go into it with expectations of trying to consolidate ourselves. Um, we've got a good squad um, from the names coming back and people coming in. Um, so it's exciting to be at the club with ground improvements going on as well. Um, so I think like, all together it's a positive time to be at Bedford. Like you said, there um, some familiar faces around the place already, which is nice to see, and some new ones coming in. Um, it's exciting times, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think it was important for us um, as players last year coming back to have a, at least a few of us like come back to the squad, um, sort of keep a continuity going of players and knowing who you're playing with. And then obviously, when you go up a league, you need new players coming in to bring energy, bring quality, and hopefully. Um, the recruitment's done that, um, so yeah, just looking forward to it. Tell us a little bit about how much the crowd, are, particularly on that um, game against Waltham Abbey, had an impact on yourself and the team. Yeah, I think you could definitely tell that when you're playing at home in front of 2,000 people in that sort of game, when it was a close game, um, you know, it was 1-1 one, one at one stage, and I think when the crowd started getting behind us, you could hear the noise, I think we knew that, yeah, this is our game for the taking, and, you know, we had to do it for them, and Thank them for coming out because 2,000 people at that level is pretty impressive. Are you are you heading off on holiday before pre-season starts? Yeah, I'm going away on Saturday for two weeks to Albania, actually. Nice. Um, so going somewhere a bit different, but um, it's a place to explore, staying in like five or six different places. Um, so, yeah, it should be fun. Chance to relax and then it'll be pre-season yeah. and before you know it, it'll be that first game of the season. Yeah, so I'll get back the day before pre-season starts. So <laughs> I... Bert George was to send me his running, my running stats whilst I'm away, which I don't think is going to be happening. <laughs> um, but I'll try and stay as fit as I can out there. Um, but yeah, and then once pre-season started, it's back into the swing of things, back training regularly, and then pre-season games, looking forward to them. Um, some pretty decent fixtures coming up. So, And we'll look forward to the fixture announcements, I guess, all looking out for the, some of those exciting trips away up in the Midlands. Some of them stand out, don't they? I mean, Telford, big club. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Telford's facility is a, a joke for that level, really. You've like, played there before, have you? Uh, I've been there before, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice setup to be able to go to a stadium like that and yeah. see what we can do. Obviously, we'll probably be underdogs going there, but when you go to games like that, it's a great experience. And I think if you get the right squad together and start playing more, well, then anything can happen. Cheers, man. No problem. Take Thank care. You very much.